So I'm in my kitchen cooking. So hopefully that stove isn't too loud for you. Hi, so today's vlog is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm literally cooking dinner, but I am so busy and I didn't wanna put this off any longer. So right now I'm actually cooking up chicken on the grill. Let me see if I can show that. So decided to do it a little bit different. And I haven't actually had chicken in a while. I've been having a lot of lean beef patties, a lot of um, real good pizzas. I've had chicken like from other places, but not, I haven't cooked any here in a while. So this is 10 weeks on Octavia and I am loving it. 10 weeks. Today I weighed in and I was down 32.2 pounds. I love this program. So I'm in my kitchen cooking. So hopefully that stove isn't too loud for you. I wanted to show you some of my favorite fueling hats and sauces that are on plan in moderation. So I love to have our pasta and I'll, I'll insert a picture here of the pasta. And I like to put one Laughing Cow light cheese in there, one wedge, and mix it in. And I have a picture of it with it in there. And then I love the ultra thin sharp cheddar cheese. I love this. I put this on my lean beef patties. I put this on the potatoes that I waffle in my waffle maker. I got my kids meds over here. Let me move it. This, this video is very different style from you guys, very different style. All right, so this is the mini dash waffle maker and I use that, oh, okay. There's some grease coming out of it. And I make the potato fueling in there. And then I put, I cut it in half and I put an ultra thin sharp cheddar cheese in there and it makes like a grilled cheese. Super yummy, super good. One of these is considered, I believe, half or one condiment. I usually count it as one condiment. You can use the wishbone light dressing. I use this on my hamburgers or my mini mac salad. Pickles. Guys, never in my life have I just opened the jar and ate pickles. Never. Ask my family. Oh, the other night I had on my plate my beef patties, my lean extra beef, extra lean beef patties, some broccoli, and six pickles. No joke. I love pickles. The sugar free, this is GQ's smokehouse brand, and he has different um like flavors, and this is the original. I love this. Super good. Can't even tell it's sugar free. It's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You need to get this. He also has ketchup, the G Hughes sugar-free ketchup. So both of these sauces, two tablespoons is considered one condiment. So those are just some things that I like to have and to spruce up my lean and greens. Now, the least you do that, the more you're gonna have success. So it's up to you. You know, when you start adding in things, that's when it can jeopardize your weight loss. A lot of times I like getting Triple-A grilled nuggets, 12 grilled nuggets, and a side salad. And then I usually at home put my own dressings on it. Did I get out my ranch? I have an on-plan ranch too. Hold on. All right, so I forgot one of my favorite sauces is the Skinny Girl Fat-Free Sugar-Free Dressing. Like I said, I don't use this all the time, so use in moderation when you start adding things. That's when you, you know, you're adding to the plan. So. This you can have like two tablespoons is considered a condiment. This is the nutritional information for it. Um, I got these all at Walmart. So all this is from Walmart. Um, I've seen plant approved dressings at um, grocery outlet, Walmart. And these are just some of the things that I like. So 10 weeks, it's been amazing. I. I just feel like so different. Like, I know I'm making great choices. I know that it's paying off, but at the same time, like sometimes, you know, you want to make a poor choice or, you know, you, but then you're like, no, I don't, 
you know, you just don't want to. You know, this week actually I've had a lot of people notice the weight loss. And that's what's been, I guess, really encouraging is you know that other people are noticing it. What day was it? I think it was Sunday. I told Rick, hey, I'm starting to notice weight because I noticed I'm losing weight because this shirt like was tight, tight a few months ago. And now it's like loose, you know? And he goes, you're just now noticing you're losing weight. And then I was like, well, no, not just, you know, but other people are telling it's not just like me, you know? And that's encouraging, you know, to know that. And I mean, I do have still 60 pounds plus to lose that I want to lose, um, maybe 60 to 70 more. So I would say 70 more, yeah, 70 more gets me to a healthy BMI. And then from there, I'll determine if, you know, where I wanna go and, you know, go into transition and maintenance and stuff. And what's really great is I have a plan to get there. You know, I'm not gonna be doomed for, you guys are seeing all over my kitchen. I'm not gonna be doomed for um, failure because I have a plan. I have support, I have accountability. I love sharing about it, I really do. I love putting out my videos on YouTube and my posts on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me if I'm gonna coach. Probably this week I'm more ready to coach than I've ever been. I know coaching doesn't take much, you know, but I do wanna help others. I wanna help people get things off of them that are holding them back, that they feel like are, it, their weight or even their thinking or their tiredness or their, you know, lethargic and like their low energy. You know, I don't know how many ways I can say that because I feel like I just said it so many different ways you can say that. But it's, you know, everything that holds people back, you know, or makes them feel depressed, I'm still grieving and I will grieve in different ways the rest of my life. But I have a plan. And I feel, I feel like I have a light at the end of my tunnel and that I can actually get there, especially with weight loss. I've never in my life felt like I had a plan to get me to like my goal. Like I never thought that I would get past the goal to the healthy level. And I feel like with this plan, I can. Does that make sense? Week 10 was amazing. So stay tuned for mm -hmm. to see how I do Octavia at a kid's camp. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love your support. Go ahead and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. Bye. Bye.